One year ago, twin toddlers were pulled out of a swimming pool while visiting family and friends. Yeah, it happened on Thanksgiving, a brother and a sister. This is Levi and this is Lainey. Now, Lainey fully recovered, but Levi did not. And I recently visited with the family at their home in Zionsville, where they are fervently working to try to help him. And they're also praying for a miracle. Come on, come back to mom. <laughs> It is a constant hope that someday Levi will come back. There's been some really hard days on this journey, so we're just praying that there's light on the other side of all of this. Levi is a twin with a brain injury after a near drowning last Thanksgiving. You know, we were just at a friend's house and, you know, planned a fun afternoon of swimming and um, we were done. We were done swimming. Um, kids were dressed. We were having dinner. And the kids went to play in the other room. And unfortunately, the twins got into the pool. We don't know how long either was in the pool. Well, we were able to resuscitate Lainey there. So yeah. we knew that um, you know, her progress was going to be better um, because it took us a little bit longer to get, get Levi's heartbeat back. So you know, that, that type of time without um, oxygen to the brain, you know, leads to, to what we're dealing with. After six days, Lainey recovered, now completely. I mean, we got the MRIs back on both kids and we're, we're saddened, obviously, with Levi's and we're surprised in a good way by Lainey. So uh, we thank God for the miraculous healing that, that she's had. <laughs> Lainey likes to play dress up and circles around as her mom holds Levi. She's a daily reminder of that miracle and where Levi should be. It would be easier if it was, if he wasn't a twin because we wouldn't be saying, you know, oh, Lainey had her Halloween parade today, you know, but where's Levi, you know, and everything is just, there's such a void now, an empty space and memories are all different now because they aren't together anymore. So it's just changed everything. The Chisholms live in Zionsville with their oldest, Connor. He's seven. Their daughter, Charlie, is five. She was diagnosed with a genetic syndrome at birth. Both Charlie and Levi now have feeding tubes. We don't just have one medically fragile child, we have two. And they both have needs throughout the night. And so there's no rest here. <laughs> there's, no, there's no break. And there's no treatment. No alternative medicine, no option that Megan will ignore. We'll have MNRI, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, we have vision therapy, we have um, a chiropractor, that, Dr. Nancy, that comes and adjusts him at least three times a week. Um, we've recently started with a cranial sacral therapist, we've had a reflexologist, so it's busy. <laughs> yeah. Levi cries when uncomfortable or tired, and mom says overall, he is calmer now. You know, August was a really hard month. Like, I didn't think we were going to survive August. Like, he was, um, it was, hor it was horrible. And he was crying. It was just crying. It was seizures. It was um, constant just agitation, no sleep. Megan says switching to homeopathic supplements and CBD supervised by a doctor in India this fall have been life changing. We know that the brain can rewire itself and it takes time. Um, so, of course, nothing's happening as fast as we hope, um, but we're not going to give up. Levi's bent legs now straighten, tightly closed fists open, and sometimes eye contact seems purposeful. So it's small. <laughs> we really feel like um, we're starting over with Levi, and, you know, we kind of look at this journey as a rebirth. We aren't um, naive in the fact that the road will be a complex one. Um, but it's our son. I think what we've learned through this is that um, people just show up. Crowds of people gathered to pray outside the hospital in the days after the accident. People are kind, people are good, and people care. One, two, and cha cha cha. <laughs> One, two, and cha. And nearly half a million worldwide are now following Megan's candid and faithful updates online. We just really feel loved as a family and um, just, just blessed that 
the outreach has been so far and wide because I just think our story, um, one, it can inform people, um, two, it can give people hope, and three, I hope it just brings people closer to their faith.